Now before we start with this video, I need to make sure that you understand this notation that I'm utilising here. So this is shorthand notation. Uh, the sum of alpha, what that represents is alpha plus beta plus gamma. That is the sum of the roots. The sum of alpha beta is the sum of the product pairs. So alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma. And the sum of alpha beta gamma just means alpha beta gamma because there's just that one term. So this question is looking for those three bits of information for these four examples, okay? Now, if you think about um, having your general cubic, az cubed plus bz squared, etc. Now, divide through by the a, and you can then write your cubic equation as z cubed take away alpha plus beta plus gamma z squared plus alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma z take away alpha beta gamma equals zero. Okay, so this is the general format where your roots are alpha, beta and gamma. Okay, so remember they go negative, positive, negative. So with this first one, the coefficient of z cubed is already one, so that's fine. So what I'm looking for is the sum of the roots, which is going to be minus eight. Then you've got the sum of the product pairs, which is going to be minus five. And then you've got the sum of the three, well, the product of the three roots, which is just, well, is the negative of minus two, so two. So change sign, keep the sign, change the sign. Okay, in other words. So that's our first one. Then for the second one, you need to divide through by the four first. So z cubed, take away three quarters z squared, take away five quarters z, plus eight divided by four, so two equals zero. So the sum of the roots is going to be equal to three quarters. The sum of the product pairs is going to be equal to minus 5 quarters. And the product of the three roots is going to be equal to minus 2. OK. Now for the third one, we're going to need to divide, divide through by 3 first. So z cubed plus 8 thirds z take away 3 is 0. So the sum of the roots. Now, the coefficient of z squared is 0. So they add up to zero. The sum of the product pairs is going to be eight thirds. And the product of the three roots, alpha, beta, gamma, is going to be equal to three. OK. Last one, divide through by six first. So z cubed, take away seven sixths z equals zero. So the sum of the roots, coefficient of z squared is zero again, so that's zero. The sum of the product pairs is going to be minus seven sixths. And the product of the three roots is going to be zero. Okay? So, this is how you can identify the bits that you need. OK, and we're going to be utilising those as the problems become more complicated as we move on in this section.